everyone, so quick warning, chatty, vloggy style video alert. This one is gonna be very relaxed because I'm gonna show you what is in my suitcase. I'm off on holiday tomorrow and so I'm in full on packing mode and although there's still a few things to throw in, I thought I would show you what I've packed so far. There's definitely a more sophisticated way of doing this but I thought I hadn't given my arm a workout and vlogged for a while so I thought I would do it like this. So tomorrow I'm off with my girlfriends for a seven day beach holiday and I'm so excited because we have not gone on holiday since I was 18 and we went to Ayanapa, so that is a long, long time ago. We were well overdue a holiday together and it's actually gonna be my birthday while I'm there, which is even more exciting. I think a cocktail or two may have to be consumed on the Saturday night and then I can ring in my birthday at midnight, which is just, I am just can't wait if you can't already tell. But there's four of us going in total and we're actually only taking two suitcases. We're trying to like streamline it here, go for just the basics and do a lot of sharing of toiletries and all that kind of stuff. So I've just got half of a suitcase and the suitcase that I'm working with, I'll show you it here, is from Muji and it may just be my favourite suitcase, even more so than my Lulu Guinness one with the lips on, which I do love. That's more of a cabin bag, whereas this is perfect for like one person if you're going away on a seven to 10 day plus trip and you need a sh sh shed load of stuff. <laughs> all good if you're going away, just the two of you in the traveling life. It's got amazing swivelly wheels, it does all that cool stuff and it's very spacious inside. So let's go take a look. So this is what we're working with here. This side is gonna be Lauren's and then this is all of my stuff here. So we're going away for seven days and I don't think this is too bad. I'll talk you through. In this corner I've packed pyjamas and I always have a bit of a pyjama dilemma whenever I go away because I never know if it's going to be really cold because of the aircon or if it's going to be really hot and there's a non-aircon situation and you're just going to sweat it out. So if that happens I've got a t-shirt and shorts and then if the other happens I've got some jogging bottom style things and a long sleeved top as well which might come in handy if I need to wear it during the day if it's a bit chilly. I like to think of myself as optimistic but I have packed an umbrella just in case and then in this corner I have shoes. I've gone for my Birkenstocks, much to my friends' disgust. They're very upset that I'm taking these, but they're just so comfortable. And then also I bought some Avianas. I've never owned a pair of them before and I haven't owned flip-flops for years, but I thought they'd just come in really handy for the beach and if we're just wandering around town or if we're on a night out and I'm not feeling my heels. Now I do like to group things together in little bags and in this one I've got all my underwear and then in this one I've got bikinis and a swimming costume. Now I'm quite lucky in the bikini department because my boobs are as flat as a pancake, I can get away with the whole bandeau thing. This is one that I picked up from H&M a long time ago but I still really like it, I like the colour scheme of it and then this is one that I picked up this summer from Topshop and then I also picked up a swimsuit which I have not owned a swimsuit for years basically since I was in primary school but I got a lot of wear of this when I was in Nice and it's just it's got quite a low V at the front but as I said there's nothing really there to show I really like the print and the color of it reading material is a must and I've got two issues of allure here I'm taking girl boss for my friend and then I've also got a few chapters of running like a girl left I have a quick little tip to add in here and in the months running up to a holiday I buy all the issues of my favourite magazines and then don't read them and then when you go away you have all this amazing new reading material to read over and that is why I not only have two issues of Allure to read, I also have one in my hand luggage as well so that's three issues. Oh, can't wait. Everyone has those bags they take on holiday with them and this is mine, it's just a little shoulder bag and it's really good for just hot weather holidays where you just need a bag in the evenings to take to restaurants or just go around the town during the day and I think this was about £10 from Topshop, bargain. Then on to clothes. So I went a bit beach cover up crazy, they're all from Topshop. This is a little play suit with little tassels on which I just loved the look of. This is a little dress and then this is like a long shirt. I thought I'd get a lot of wear out of these because I can also wear them in the evening but then I realised all of my underwear is black. So this could get interesting. <laughs> so I've got some t-shirts and vest tops in there. And then for my bottom half, I've got my Haley Topshop denim shorts, of course, which are just the most comfortable denim shorts ever. And I'm pretty sure I will probably just wear these every day. Also this Topshop skirt. And then, oh God, there's a lot of Topshop going on here. This is a play suit that I picked up from there recently. It's got a little bit of lace around the armpit area and then also on the bottom as well and I thought I could wear this for my birthday night out. I like to keep every single pouch bag or tote bag that I've ever received and they do come in quite handy when it comes to traveling. I've got this little birch box pouch and this just has a load of random stuff in. Oh travel sickness pills, adapter plugs, batteries, chargers, all that kind of good stuff. I did bring these ASOS heels 
to wear with the birthday play suit, but I'm not sure if I will just crack out the Avianas. This is more like bigger toiletry, so big SPF, big insect repellent, and some other bits in there. And then I just bought my travel makeup bag, and this is basically identical to the one that I took to Nice with me, so I will put the link to that video below where I show you everything inside. Onto the hand luggage, and when it comes to beachy holidays, I just like to take my beach bag as my hand luggage, it just makes life a little bit easier. So let's take a look inside. I have one of these plastic bags that they give you at the airport to put all your liquids in, so I will do that when I get there. And then also purse. Oh, another issue of Allure. See, I told you there was three. I've got a little bag of dribs and drabs again. This just has like phone chargers and adapters, all that kind of stuff in. My noise cancelling headphones, which may just be one of the best purchases I've ever made, especially if you're a bit of a nervous flyer. You put these on, you can just go to your other world. I normally just stick on a bit of Ed and have a great time. Sunglasses. I think I'm gonna take my GoPro with me because I think the girls will really enjoy this. We can get some shots underwater and it's just really small, so it's good for just throwing in your bag. Obviously, it's waterproof as well, so you don't mind taking it to the beach. An empty makeup bag. I'm not really sure why that's in there. Phone, pen, and then I bought this recently. It's a new um, portable charger for my phone because my one just wasn't really working anymore, and I read the reviews of this on Amazon, and it said that it charges an iPhone six times. That's crazy, it's quite heavy, it's quite big, but I thought this will basically do me for the whole holiday. I think that's everything. Actually, that's a lie, there is one more thing. <laughs> I have a list of things to pack on the day, see, very clearly labelled, and then also here I have my outfit for the airport already, including my pants and bra on top, just in case I forgot those. <laughs> I just really like to be organised. Now, I'm sure there's a few things missing, there's definitely a few more things I need to add in but I reckon I'm definitely more than halfway there so I should be ready on time but I'm very much excited about this. There'll still be videos coming up next week so I hope you enjoy those and there is a very exciting one on Sunday which may just be a get ready with me. But thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tour of my suitcase and I'll see you soon, bye!